Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. Um, Anthony Joshua destroys Robert Hellenius, um, and it was a horribly boring night of boxing. Not a horrible performance from Joshua, but we're going to get into that. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and uh, subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog comes at you every day. Uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, uh, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Today is going to be the last day that we make shows like this. Uh, we're going to change the format. We're going to do a boxing bookie. I'm going to show you guys how to handicap boxing. Uh, I'm going to walk you through that um, and, and, and show you how to place bets and, and, and make money. Um Gambling on boxing, um, if that's your thing. I'm not a gambler, uh, but we, we can bring down the Vegas house together. So starting probably Monday or Tuesday, uh, all shows moving forward or most shows moving forward are going to be – we might still do some shows, but uh, most shows are going to be teaching you guys how to make money gambling on the sport of boxing. Um, but, all right. Uh, let's get into today's show. Um, it was absolutely horrible. Joshua finally breaks through. Joshua was, was complaining to Derek James. He couldn't score with his right hand. He couldn't find it. He found it in a, in a big way. He threw a little uh, throwaway jab to the body, came behind it with the right hand, and bang, Hellenius went down like a ton of bricks. Um, I, you know, it probably wasn't as good as, as Wilder's knockout of, of Hellenius, but it was pretty good. It was a pretty good knockout. Um, other than that, this card was was quite poor. Um, Campbell Hatton went to 12 and 0, um, so th th there was that. Um, and then after that, you had Johnny Fisher. Uh, you know, in the beginning of the heavyweight fights, um, he, he he fought a guy named Harry Armstrong. I, I'm not familiar with him. Johnny Fisher absolutely destroyed him. Uh, he knocked him down in the first. Um, and again in the seventh, and then they threw in the towel. Um, Johnny Fisher moves to 10 0, I think. He, he looks pretty good. Um, he, he may have a future. I'm not sure what his ceiling is. I'd like to see him again. But after that, the card, I mean, the card absolutely. Um, Philip Ergovich and, and Dempsey McKean, I thought, was going to be a good fight. I really did. And, and, and Ergovich was winning. Probably seven to four going into the last round. Is that about how you guys had it? How did you guys see it? I thought Argovich was definitely winning. So I, I don't think the stoppage did anything in particular. And obviously, he's going to win the 12th round because he had McKean hurt. But the stoppage was a little, I don't want to say it was silly. I want to say it was hometown friendly because McKean was out of it. Uh, he was like bent over the ropes and stuff. Uh, but to me, that's a knockdown because the ropes are holding you up. Um, that's a knockdown to me. He didn't necessarily need to stop the fight. You call it a knockdown because the ropes are holding him up, and then you assess, you know, after the eight count. Um, you know. So I'm not saying it was a bad stop. I'm saying it, the, the ruling is probably should have been ruled a knockdown because the ropes are holding him up, and then give him the eight count and assess him at that point. Uh, but he was in trouble, and he was going to lose the fight. So it's not – the end of the world. Arguments uh, moves to 16 0. It looks pretty good. Derek Chisora, um, and, and uh, you know, he got a cut early. Maybe you want to say that had something to do with his performance. And it wasn't terrible. You know, Chisora is 39 years old. And, and, and how old is Gerald? Gerald Washington is 41. So these are guys who are my age. Um, and it, it was just tough to watch. I mean, neither one of these guys should still be fighting. Um, Chisora got the win, and so my guess is he gets a big fight after this, right? Uh, you know, that would be my guess. He got the win. It was not good. Both guys looked 100 years old, but Chisora gets the win. Chisora beats Gerald Washington. The heavyweight division 
had a resurgence for a few years with Joshua. Say 2016, Tyson Fury, Joshua Wilder, then you had Usyk, and the heavyweight division was hot, and it looked good. Uh, Andy Ruiz, you had a bunch of guys, right? Dillian White, a bunch of guys. That's done. Uh, there's only two heavyweights that, you know, Wilder doesn't fight anymore. Joshua's not good. We're going to get to that in just a minute. Joshua's done. Wilder's not good. I mean, Wilder doesn't, Wilder's good. Wilder doesn't fight. Andy Ruiz isn't really fighting. Um, and Usyk is kind of carrying the vision. And, and Usyk, as good as he is, and he's amazing, isn't the kind of guy who's going to give you entertaining fights, you know, high action fights. He's not the kind of, kind of guy who's going to carry the weight class. Right? He's not a star like that. He's just a, 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 an all time great fighter. Um, and, and the only fight that matters right now in the heavyweight division is Fury, and Fury wants nothing to do with them. And Fury has a fight where either Fury fights wrestlers or well, whatever. Um, so the, the resurgence of the heavyweight division is, is, is done. You know, now we need to wait on guys like Jared Anderson, uh, Frank Sanchez, see what they can do. Uh, but right now, the heavyweight, that, that resurgence of the heavyweight division, where it was a hot division, where it was a you know, top-heavy, loaded division, top you know five, six, seven guys were, were all really good, that's done. We are done with that for now. Um, let's get to Anthony Joshua. Again, He's Joshua is still going to be able to beat most heavyweights, right? Um, he would not beat Jared Anderson if they fought. Um, he, he got the knockout over Hellenius, and he, he took care of business, right? It was not entertaining. He never stepped on the gas, right? He came in with a right hand. He's letting rounds go. Hellenius is building confidence. Joshua is winning the fight. Don't get me wrong, right? He he he's basically winning the fight with his jab. Like I said, he he said to Derek James, he can't find it. He, he can't land the right hand. He's having trouble landing the right hand. Um, I mean, and there was just nothing good about that performance except for the how it ended. He got the knockout when he needed it. But if you thought that he was back and then he was getting back to where he was when he was destroying. Pulev and, and and when he knocked out Ruiz and, and even before that, like Charles Martin, he destroyed those guys. If you thought he was going to get back there, he's not. Uh, I'm not saying he's a shot fighter or he's a terrible fighter. What I'm saying is he's not going to beat Ruiz. He's not going to beat um again. He's not going to beat Wilder, and that Wilder fight might happen. He's not going to beat Fury or Usyk, and he's not going to beat Jared Anderson. So where do you want to go with him? He can still make money. He's still a draw. The Dylan White fight would have been nice, but Dylan White can't stop taking steroids or what have you. Um, this is a poor performance that ended well. The Derek James thing, as much as I love Derek James, hasn't changed much. He he is what he is, and, and he's not getting back to the level that he was. And he's never going to be an all time great heavyweight like some had projected when he won the gold medal and you know started blowing people out in the heavyweight ranks and, and coming up. He's just not going to be that guy. Uh, the, the, the fight with Wilder could happen next. You know, Wilder has been out of the ring uh, a lot. He's been out of the ring frequently. Um, you know, he, he's no longer with PBC. He never. He no longer has Lou DiBello working for him. It, it, it's an interesting spot that Wilder is in. He's 37, right? He's obviously on the downside of his career. Um, it's been almost a year. It's been... 10 months or so since the Hellenius fight. Like I said, there's nothing on the docket. Um, he fought, you know, uh, it's once in 2020, right before the pandemic. Fought once in 2021, a year and a half off. Now he's been out of the ring again about a year uh, since the Hellenius fight. Um, and that's one round. You know, he's had one round since 2021. Uh, you know, it is what it is. He's just not active. Um, I, I don't know what's going on. He's not with PBC anymore, so I'm not sure what's going on with him in the future. Andy Ruiz on on the other you know side of this has been out of the ring again it, in, in a couple of weeks, short of a year. The Luis Ortiz fight where he won the decision, uh, where where Ortiz w was dropped twice in round two, and again it was dropped three times total. Once in 
the seventh, and then twice early in the second. Um, that fight was a year ago. So these guys just aren't fighting. You know, he, he Rui's another guy. He fought Joshua in 2019, didn't fight in 2020, fought once in 2021, you know, then took another year and a half off. Now he's been out of the ring a year again. There's just no momentum, and the heavyweight division is dead, unfortunately. Um, and, and, and Joshua, the one guy who's fairly active as of recent, at least, isn't fighting anymore. So we're not going to get Usyk. Usyk fights once a year. We're not going to get Usyk Fury ever, right? So we're never going to answer that question because Fury's afraid. AJ's not what he was, and Wild and Ruiz don't fight. So, I mean, the kind of era of heavyweight is kind of done. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all from social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is August 12th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 